Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Nick Nickam in this presentation I am going to show you how to use your Handycam Sony 455 with the ATEM Mini as one of the webcams so let us begin I'll have to switch the cameras and then I'll come up with the camera and show you what exactly needs to be done okay I am back with my Sony Handycam 455 as you can see you can see the menu here first let me come off the menu then I will see the screen I'm going to give you a little tour of my studio as you can see right there I have one light uh, to the right and my second monitor there and next to that is the stand where I usually keep my Handycam and next to that is the webcam then I have my main monitor, the keyboard and the mouse to the right side and when we come up here we have the microphone and we have the speaker and here is my Nikon 750 professional photography camera which I will be using next and there is my Focusrite 2x2 sound card which is actually recording the sound so that uh, you can hear the sound. Now let us focus on this AT Mini. I had the hardest time working with this AT Mini after I got it. I spent three days trying to beat up my head to get the AT Mini to recognize my webcam and the camera. I still have to work some bugs out of this uh, Nikon D750 but I have gotten my Sony Handycam to work and one of the most important things I would suggest would be once you get the ATEM Mini hooked up through your USB connection to the computer you download the software you also download the manual and make sure that the ATM is recognized by the software and the control system I downloaded the the one which was right at the top under support and downloads and that was the wrong one and two days after I was struggling with it I called the ATEM Mini tech support and one guy said well everything with the box works fine I don't think I can help you so I was so frustrated I was ready to return this to black magic then I said well before I return let me just call a second time the second time I called the gentleman answered the phone and he took whatever time was needed he said okay no problem I'll walk you through what needs to be done he said what version of uh, ATEM mini control have you downloaded I said it's 8.6 and apparently 8.6 is not for AT mini so if you have AT mini and you have problems connecting your AT mini to your webcams uh, to the cameras or to the computer make sure you download 8 dot phi dot one let me repeat it again you need to download the software eight dot five dot one that will save you million headaches as soon as I downloaded the software and uploaded the control software immediately it recognized my Sony Handycam and also it recognized my Nikon D750 camera However, the Nikon D750 is acting, acting like, a, like a picture presenter, so I had to figure out how to work on that. But let us focus on this uh, Sony Handycam. And here is my Sony Handycam. So let me get back here. So, and here's my keyboard. So let me get into the menu. I don't know if you can see the menu. Okay, there's my menu. So we go to the setup and a few things you can do. Of course, uh, let's come down here. HDMI, I have set it to 1080p. And if you click on this, there is auto 1080p i, 720p, 1080p. So that's what I have set this one. And the next USB is for just downloading the programs and things like that. We don't need to work on that one much. Monitor brightness, power, language setting, we don't need to work on that power save we don't need to do anything there visual version area setting okay so that part is done also we need to go to the image quality and make sure you the one we set up in the menu is for 
you know, how it is capturing. And I was told by an expert that uh, image quality is the one that determines what is being sent to a Tem Mini. So here I have set it to a six frame rate to 60p and file format is uh, HD, ABC HD, which is fine. Image size is fine. And uh, so that's all about the image quality. And there are a few other tweaks we had to do to get rid of uh, some of those uh, like face detection and menu and all this. You have to play with it. It will be different in each one of the settings. So now if I go back to shoot, now I'll go to movies. Now the movies is going to take us back to where we started with and that is showing what is going on. Just to make sure that this camera really works, I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see me talking while I am recording this. I have to turn this one, hold on. Okay, there you can see, ladies and gentlemen, and the camera is right to where the webcam is supposed to be, and uh, you have to get used to this. Uh, and I also had a problem with the quality of the image. It was coming like 720, some blurry stuff. So you have to play in the image option in your Handycam to make sure you get the right quality image. So I hope this has been useful to you because uh, as I said, I spent three days being so frustrated and ready to, you know, just return this and get a like a cam link or a HDMI to video conversion. In fact, I ordered one of those $20 ones. Uh, hopefully I can use it on the field if I need to. But I'm so far pleased that my next step would be I will do some research on how to connect DSLR Nikon cameras to the ATEM Mini and make a video on that. And we have numerous videos on YouTube tips and tricks and please do subscribe to them and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for your time.